Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free in the heart? Thanks to Skylar Cole for that stirring rendition of our national anthem. And we'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Feeling like it's me against the world, but I can give a f who my opponent is. And I came here to train it. Speak my belief, now they call it dangerous. Taking a throne and I'm gonna maintain it. I gotta go down to just one of the places. Takes flying, go down, you'll clear the deck. Deck cleared. We welcome you to Noche Enabia here on 2K Sports. From the attire to the food, the players' jerseys. Tonight, a celebration of the Latin culture. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. We know Chris Paul is nicknamed the point god. Some say he's the best ever when it comes to running an offense while limiting turnovers. CP3 says when I step on the court, I don't think that anyone should be able to take the ball from me. I pride myself on making the right decisions passing and ball handling. Kevin, he remains a wizard. He's unbelievable. Hall of Famer in every way. Thank you, David. Well, we expect to see Sparks flying down in the paint tonight. Greg, a couple of very talented centers matching up head-to-head -head in this one. And But with the way the game is played today, you know, we could see them battling at the arc. <laughs> Modern bigs make their presence felt now all over the floor. Look at the 76ers starting group. On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Harden out there with the Anthony Melton. And it's Harris in at the small forward position. And for the Suns, Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. The small and power forwards are Bridges and Johnson. And it's Aiden in at the five spot. And now here's Paul. Bridges outside. Pass to Aiden. Shoots over Embiid and misses it off the right side of the rim. Harris looking it over. And the pass to Harden. Back to Harris. Pass to Embiid. Six on the shot clock. To the paint. And the jam by Harden. And for a big man, Embiid sees the floor as well as any big. Recognizes when one of his guys has an opening for a shot. Now here's Paul. His last outing, 16 points for him. Aiton, the pass to book. Shot from the top of the key, and the shot is good. Tough to guard Devin Booker on the quick pick and roll with his size and speed. He can be very dangerous in these sets. Harden kicks to Embiid. He dishes it to Harris. Passes to Tucker. Embiid against Aiton. MB, no good. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here's Paul. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. You love the pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Yeah, pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Five on the clock. Here's Booker. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Some guys will wow you with their overall size or incredible athleticism. 
Devin Booker does it with his pure ability to score the ball. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go-round. Both free throws good from Booker. And talking about a franchise that has done a complete 180, look no further than the Phoenix Suns. Before 2021, they hadn't even been to the playoffs in 10 years. Now here is Harris. Coming in off a 12-point game his last outing. Shoots over Bridges. Harris, good. I'm not the biggest player out there, but Tobias Harris, confident to get down low, use his frame, and score. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. In just four seasons, Phoenix Greg went from last in the conference to the best record in the entire NBA. It's been an unbelievable score. And there's a lot of talent on this team, not to mention a great coach in Monty Williams. The future is bright for this franchise. This is his second trip to the line in this one. An 89% free throw shooter puts him right there among the league's best from the line. And the 76ers making a change here. Maxey's checked in. Free throw, good Booker. The 76ers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Harden dishes to Embiid. Kicks it to Harris. Tucker the pass to Embiid. Back to Tucker. Pass to Harden. Five to shoot. Embiid with a screen on Paul. Harden's shot is good. And this is Harden doing what he does best. Finding a hole in the defense and exploiting it. Bridges against Harris. Aiton. Phoenix, no good that time either. And Embiid has got the ball here for the 76ers. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. Let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. Maybe the best ever at earning free throws. I mean, Harden has mastered the art of contact and still being able to get off the shot. Free throw is good, now leading by one. Well, Greg, we're in the final stages of the regular season. For teams that are on the outside looking in, what are these final games like? You have to continue to play hard because GMs are watching these games, seeing who packs it in and who continues to grind. So your future is at stake. Harden hits them both. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Now here's Harden. He's got seven. And there's the pass to Tucker. Embiid against Aiton. MB, no good. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Paul for three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia. And they cruised to a big win in their last meeting, getting that opposing starting lineup out of the game early 
with foul trouble. And let's see if they bring that same attacking mindset with them into this game. They should. It worked like a charm last time, getting so many guys in foul trouble. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. What sets him beat apart is he does it with such ease. Now, here's Paul. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Aiton kicks to Bridges. Will it go? Kicks it out to Paul. Aiton sets the pick for Paul. Pass to Johnson. Fires the three. Phoenix, no good that time either. The 76ers leading by four. Harden outside. Passes it to Tucker. Back to Harden. On the wing, Harris. Defended by Bridges. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist by Harris. Embiid's got his second basket of the night. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Back to Booker. Looking for Aiden. He gets it in there. Ice ball movement by Phoenix. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on MB. Well, Booker looks so often to shoot from the perimeter or coming off of screens. You got to stay down on this pump fake. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the 76ers? Tons of points off penetration so far, guys. They're driving at will on the defense, just taking whatever they want. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Sharks checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Torrey Craig comes in for Johnson. Lee's checked in for Mikael Bridges. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. Then for the 76ers, Harrell, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Korkmaz comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Jake Milton in for James Harden. Both free throws good from Booker. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Hilton the pass to Harris. Over Craig. Harris no good. Suns trail by four. And here's Payne. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about ten and a half points a game. Pass to Booker. Spins. Converts after the nice spin. Booker's got 11 points. This Booker can score when it looks so difficult. What an impact on that end. Milton on top. Vain covering. Here's Korkmaz. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And he's got his first chance at the line here. A Kogi's checked in for the Suns. free throw no good so for Phoenix their last game a loss to the Kings in Sacramento Lee kicks to Payne Sharks with the screen for Payne terrific assist a nice finish solid play all around Payne just opening things up for this offense by moving the ball Maxi looking it over Here's the pass to Milton. Beyond the arc. Craig pulls it in. Sun's trailing. Well, you like the role that Kim has accepted as a guy who comes in and gives immediate energy and impact to the offense. He does a little bit of everything, but he certainly is a spark plug. Now here's Lee. No points in the game yet for him. Clearly foul. This is his first free throw of the game. And with a percentage of, of 82, he's been one of their more dependable shooters from the line. Shooting two. Oh, 
and he makes the first. And it's tied up with that one. 76ers have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. Outside, Maxi. Pass to Milton. And Harris wide open. He shoots the 76ers with another miss. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. Charge a screen on Maxi. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Philadelphia's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Passes it to Milton from the arc. It's not going to go for him. And Phoenix the other way now. Two minutes remaining in the fourth. Bang, looking around. Sharch with the screen for Payne. Tries from 10. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And I like the subtle adjustment he made to create a little space for that one. Yeah, that's an awesome finish there for sure. Not allowing that big guy to have his way or, or alter the shot. Maxi, sweet little floater. Maxie. Maxie's got it all tied up now for the 76ers. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. A minute 20 left in the first quarter. Payne in the post. Defended by Milton. Payne's shot is good. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Milton the pass to Harold. That shot off. Some solid defense from Sharich. Phoenix has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Craig passes to Okogi. Lee left side. It's stolen. On the wing, Harris. And stolen by Payne. And up the court come the Suns on the break. And Payne just playing eyes up basketball, seeing that opportunity. The 76ers trail by four. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Harold finds Milton. Takes it inside. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly here to start the game. Charge passes to Payne. Over in the corner, Lee. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the Sun. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. back to Noche Latina, celebrating the Latin culture and their love for the game of basketball. It just keeps growing. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Phoenix. They haven't been afraid of getting hit on the way up, marching their way to the line and capitalizing. Well, the attack can come from a lot of ways, either execution or by just getting on the bounce and driving it in, and that's where they've been very effective tonight. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, on the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. DeAnthony Melton out there with Harden, and it's Korkmaz at the small forward. Embiid, no good. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space, just clanked it. All finds Bridges. Good D by Harden. The 76ers trail by four. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. 
Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Here's Shamit. James Harden picking up that last basket. And that one's good, Shamit. Shamit's got the lead up to four now for the Suns. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. And B, no good. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Here's Paul on the mark with the 15-footer. And now a six-point Suns lead. He is a master craftsman when he gets inside and carves out space at the mid-range. CP3 with another deuce. Embiid with a screen on Paul. Harden the pass to court pause. Off target from three-point range. For Phoenix, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Paul surveying the floor. Johnson from outside. Rebounded by Tucker. Pass to Korkmaz. Feeds to Embiid. And yes, it's good. Embiid's got six. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Paul with the bucket. Chris Paul knows exactly not just who's going to hit him, but how they're going to hit him. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Six-point game. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. change Booker's checked in here's Harden he had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Warriors in San Francisco. And don't forget about his assists. His playmaking was as good or better than his scoring. He, he was in complete control out there. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Shamit on the wing. That one's rebounded by Embiid. 
Embiid got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Here's Booker after the made shot from Joel Embiid. Booker dishes to Bridges. Booker the pass to Aiton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, many thought the Suns would let Aiden walk as a restricted free agent. But they had no hesitation matching the offer to bring him back. It looks like he'll be a Sun for the foreseeable future. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Young big men, though, often struggle to find consistency. But you look at Aiden's first four seasons, the numbers are almost identical year to year. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. And for eight, the numbers are impressive indeed, averaging a double-double every season. And he's got all the tools. Next step, making more plays for others, and they've been working on his shooting range to open up the lane a bit more. The Suns have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Booker is screen on Melton. There's the drive. Stolen by Tucker. Booker against Melton. This is to Tucker. And they take the lead. Tucker's got his first two points of the night. Good positioning inside from P.J. Tucker and just going to work. Bridges passes to Ayton. The pass to Booker. Ayton sets the pick for Booker to stop the run. No good on the shot a bit long that time. Now the defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. You know, Greg, you played on some gritty teams, and we hear that expression, getting punched in the mouth. And it's not usually literal, but... What's that look like on the floor? What's it feel like on the court? Kevin, you, you're just out hustling and out muscling the team. At times, you'll see it. They kind of checked out mentally. And, and I'll tell you what, it is one of the best feelings in sport. Free throw drops for Melton. Suns trail by five. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going.
Booker against Melton. The end of the drought. Booker, no good. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the Embers going. Suns trail by five. Here's the three. And again, it's the Suns missing. And it's Harris with the ball for the 76ers. Only giving up six here in this quarter. Pass to Harden. Perilous screen on Bridges. Harden. The 76ers again can't hit it. Phoenix has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. To the inside. Craig, good. Craig's got his first basket of the night. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna, you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Now Melton. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Shot clock at six. Here's Harden. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And what's incredible about Harden, he can dominate a game with the pass as much as the shot. So defensively, you have to prepare for both. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Throw good, James Harden. So for the Suns, Lee comes in for Mikael Bridges. And a Kogi subbed in for Booker. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Maxi's checked in for DeAnthony Melton. Harden hits them both. And no secret here, this is what you need to do with the lead. Hit your free throws, and they're having a great second quarter at the line. Harris against Craig. Pass to Okogi. Charge a screen on Maxi. Here's Okogi. Right D that time from Harrow. The 76ers leading by five. Martin looking it over. Pass to Milton. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Craig with a screen on Hart. Payne passes to Sharich. And good that time. Sharich has got his second bucket of the night. Well, Sharich on the inside has really good quality football. Maxi with it, and he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Three-pointer, and it's Phoenix with the rebound. Craig's got six rebounds in the game. He kicks to paint. He makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. At the line for your sons, Cameron Payne. At the line for one. campaign just a grinder and has stuck with it his career arc is quite interesting spent time in the G League and a few years back he was out of the league now he's back he's confident he's dependable and he's a huge part of a team playing winning basketball I mean already hot coming into the game is it fair to say he's hotter down low here's a Kobe and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 
First personal foul. That one on Maxi. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Cameron Payne. Second free throw, no good. Philadelphia leading by four. Maxie in the corner. Pass to Harden. Careless screen on Paul. Back to Maxi. The three. Charge grabs the board. Charge has got four rebounds in this game. 121 left in the first half of basketball. Paul outside. by Harrell. And it's Harden with the ball for Philadelphia. They lead by four. Pass to Harrell. A fader. Rebound by the Suns. Charge has got five rebounds tonight. Craig, good. Craig's got four points this quarter. And Sharic, just one of those European players that comes over with the fundamentals. Beautiful play there. Now, here's Milton. He averages a bit over six points a game. On the wing, Harris. Craig defending. Shoots from 14. And nothing but hair on that one. You take your time. You don't give them another possession. Yeah, hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Harden the pass to Harris, and the call will be against Harris. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Substitution on the court. Seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Paul, and he hits it to tie the game up. Paul's got six. This Paul, a crafty finisher, gets inside, and despite being six feet, will find a way to get it done. So a tie game here as we finish the first half. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much with Doc Rivers. Doc, a back-and-forth affair so far. How do you pick it up in the second half? Well, they were just a more physical team. I mean, they blew up all our actions. They got all the 50-50 balls. We got back in the game because we started doing it back at them. So that's important. We'll see if you can keep that up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Welcome, folks. The Philadelphia 76ers going head-to-head -head in what's been a neck-and-neck -neck battle through two quarters. They're going to work in the paint. Relentless, continuing to attack. That defense is on his heels right now. Yeah, they're destroying him down there. Don't shift away from it. All right, and now that we are in the later stages of the season, here's how the standings are looking in the East. Looking at Philadelphia, they're in good position, definitely among the top teams in the conference. And just as important as the seeding is how you're playing down the stretch. They're trying to dial it in. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call.
And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. A fantastic game from Harden in this one. And the way he goes at defenders, he is bound to get to the line just like he did there in that first half. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. The 76ers shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. The small and power forwards are Bridges and Johnson. Ball and Booker, the talented backcourt pair. And it's Aiton in at the center position. That's the five to begin the second half for Monty Williams. Assist goes to P.J. Tucker. The Suns trailer. And here's Booker. Bridges outside. And the rejection by Embiid. Length plus agility. Great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do it. Harden the pass to Harris. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Yeah, the defender all over him. The Suns have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. Devin Booker at the line for two. Free throw, good Booker. Both free throws, good from Booker. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Melton passes to Embiid. He feeds it to Harden. Passes it to Melton. Embiid sets the pick for Melton. And the three off target. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Bridges kicks to Paul. Bridges against Harris. Bridges passes to Johnson. Back to Bridges. Pocket six. Aiton sets the pick for Bridges. It's over Embiid. And Embiid with the block. Melton passes to Harden. There's the dish to Harris. Pass to Melton. Embiid sets the pick for Melton. A shot missing. Some solid defense from Aiton. Paul against Harris. Paul passes to Aiton for the lead. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And the Suns lead by two. Chris Paul came into the league playing unselfish, continues to do so. What a dime. Harden kicks to MB. No good, shot missing. And Phoenix will come the other way. Yeah, starting the half here, one for five, and the offense might need an ironing out. Johnson can't hit. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Harden against Paul. Harden right side. The feed to Embiid. And stolen by Eaton. Booker outside. At the top of the key. This one for three. Rebound by the 76ers. Harden outside. Embiid sets the pick for Harden. Kicks it to Embiid. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Harris against Aiton. 
Aiton a screen on Melton. Shoots over Melton. Phoenix no good that time either. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Harden outside. Here's Harris. That one off the back iron and out. For Phoenix, they've gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pictured the half start. Bridges against Harris. Bridges passes to Booker. Aiton sets the pick for Booker. Three-pointer trains it from beyond the arc. Booker's got 16. It seems like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Timeout called the 76ers. Shamit's checked in for Phoenix. Cameron Payne comes in for Chris Paul. And then for Philadelphia, Korkmaz checked in for Harris. And Maxey subbed in for James Harden. The 76ers trail by five. Here's Maxi, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Maxi's got his second basket of the night, and the action on hold as it appears there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Tough to see. And boy, when you see someone hurting like this, it's always scary. Yeah, it reminds you of what's really important. Health, number one. Everything else comes after that. Shake Milton, he's jagged in for Philadelphia. Here's Payne. Seven points in the game. Oh, Aiton in position. And Aiton throws it down. Yeah, Aiton just swallowing up the defender there and then completes the play. Embiid with a screen on Booker. Elton kicks to Embiid. Off target from outside. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Eight and a screen on Melton. For three, Booker makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. And there's not a thing you can do against Devin Booker when he's heating up like this. The pass to Embiid. Back to Melton. And the layup falls. Anthony Melton. Melton's got five now. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Shaman kicks to Aiton. Booker outside. It's intercepted. Timeout called the 76ers. Whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out.
Sharich has checked in for eight. And a Kogi subbed in for Booker. Harrell, he's checked in for the 76ers. the pass to Korkmaz. He dishes it to Harrell. Oh, and there's the foul. It's on Josh Akogi. That's his first foul. First team foul. Johnson against Harrell. Pass to Korkmaz. His shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? Payne kicks to Shannon. Offline with his three. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Now Melton off with the layup. To the left side wing. Here's Payne. Sinks the three-pointer. Payne's got 10 points in the game. This is why Payne takes a good number of threes. He's pretty effective from there. The 76ers trail by nine. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Three-pointer by Embiid. Gets it to go well, from beyond the arc. Embiid's got five points now this quarter. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Payne. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Third personal foul. Second team foul. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Cameron Payne taking two shots. First free throw is good, and Phoenix making a change here. Bridges checks in. them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The 76ers trail by eight. Milton with it. Passes to Harrell. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Embiid the pass to Milton. Misses the three. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Well, it was such a feel-good moment, at least for a little while. Mikhail Bridges grew up in Philly, obviously played his college ball there, and his mom was working for the 76ers at the time, so it just felt right as the 10th overall pick in the 2018 draft for him to be a 76er. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And, and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Here's Melton. After the basket by Dario Scharch. Pass to Milton. Just five to shoot. 13 feet away. That one, no good. And Phoenix the other way now. Mikel's time in Philly was very short, Brent. Bridges traded to Phoenix on draft night. Well, that was a bit of a shocker. I mean, all, all the talk about being the 
hometown hero, and then all of a sudden he's on his way to the desert heading towards Phoenix. But you look at Mikhail's career, he's been awesome for the Suns. I mean, what development as a 3 and D player, making the finals, signing a big extension, such a huge part of the Phoenix Suns franchise in their future. And here are the 76ers now. After the Suns pick up two, here's Milton. And they get it back. And Harrell slams it down hard. Now that's a little something extra from Montrez. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. We've got 113 left in the third. Johnson outside. Now, here's Shamit. Charge a screen on Melton. Shamit with it. Now defended by MB. And they're able to recover. Six on the shot clock. Screen by Charge. Here's Bridges. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. The 76ers trail by 10. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Two shots. Two. Free throw drops for Melton. So for the Suns, Aiton comes in for Sharich, and it's Paul in for Landry Shamit. Harris is checked in for the 76ers. Harden comes in for Korkmaz. He hits both from the strike. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. Bridges finds eight. All against Melton. Paul passes to Bridges. Just five on the clock. Over Milton. Bridges misses. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. And he gets the bucket. Harris has got his second bucket tonight. Tobias there taking the contact, still leaning with it, scores it. Ball right side. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And we've watched three so far in this one. Suns ahead, up by six. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Let's hear what Doc Rivers has going on over in his huddle. Hey guys, I told you, one bucket at a time, all right? One bucket at a time, an extra pass. Let's go, baby. Mac Rivers keeping his guys focused on the moment, trying to maximize the results of each possession. Yeah, and there's no value in getting too far ahead of yourself. Just run the offense the, the way it was designed and just look for good shots each possession. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. Montrez Harrell is out there with P.J. Tucker. Then it's DeAnthony Melton. Then it's Harden. And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. Nice catch and shoot timing from P.J. Tucker. Ball outside. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on James Harden. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. Aiton with the bounce pass. Bridges finds Johnson. And here is Aiton. He's defended by Hill. Aiton, the pass to Paul. Four on the clock. Over Harden. And something that Harden continues to work on. That kind of defensive effort makes his coaches and teammates proud. On the wing, Melton. Defended by Booker. 
Harden with a screen on Booker. Melton can't tie it up as that one misses. Suns lead by three. Booker outside. Aiton in the high post. From downtown, Booker no good. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the 76ers. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Harden the pass to Tucker. He's looking for Harrell and finds him. Shoots over Johnson. That one a little long. Phoenix has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Harden against Paul. Ayton sets the pick for Booker. And Ayton the bucket on the assist from Booker. And the Suns lead by five. Ayton rolls to the hoop for two at 7-1. Very fluid. And the 76ers call time here. Kind of like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. A smart move here. Talk things over. He's really eating them up. And they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done. Checked in for Harold. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, DA? Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. He said he just wants them to play faster. It feels like they've been too lackadaisical with the ball and that their aggressiveness just isn't there right now. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Screen on Booker. Milton with the ball. Now guarded by Aiton. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much of eight there. Shooting for Philadelphia. D. Anthony Melton taking two shots. Shooting two. First one drops. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Aiton a screen on Hart. Paul with the ball. Now defended by Embiid. And it's Paul missing. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Here's Melton. Harden with a screen on Paul. Here's Melton. Kicks it out to Harden. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Melton. And this is what the schedule looks like coming up for the Phoenix Suns. On Monday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Utah Jazz. Then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Rudy Gobert and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the matchup against the Nuggets, 
you know they want to come out and make a big statement in that one. It won't be easy, but anything can happen. Here's Hayton, and he uses the glass on the lane. And the Suns lead by five. Yeah, if Hayton can get in that kind of position, he can be a bully on the inside. Now Melton. Harden with a screen on Booker. Here's Melton, and he banks in the lane. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Phoenix calls timeout. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Booker against Melton. Booker the pass to Aiton. Over Embiid. And the rejection by Embiid. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Five on the clock for three. Booker, rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 10 rebounds here tonight. It's so active. Harden has a wide open look. Good, and Harris gets the assist. Harden's got the game tied up here for Philadelphia. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, it's a good sign. The offensive rebound. Ayton can't get it to fall. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Now the pass to Melton. And beat inside, defended by Paul. That gives them the lead. Now that's 17 points for Joel and B. And Tucker, great job reading the floor and finding a way to set up a ready shooter. Booker looking around. Back to Aiden. Booker trying to free himself up. And Aiden the bucket on the assist by Booker. Aiden's got 10 points in just the second half. Embiid with a screen on Paul. Harden kicks to Embiid. Another three for Philadelphia. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Paul dishes to Johnson. Back to Paul. On 
the wing, Booker. Aiton sets the pick to Booker. Well, as a young, dynamic scorer, Devin Booker knows how to get his way against most defenders in the league. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those buckets inside. Just hard to defend in the paint. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and a willingness to do that has paid off. Free throw, good Booker. Payne, he's checked in for Phoenix. Both free throws good from Booker. Here is Harden. Launches a three. Rebound by the Suns. Kane with it. Looking for Aiton. He gets it in there. And Aiton throws it down. Yeah, Aiton out there playing poker with the flush. 76ers trailing. Now, here is Harden. Pass to Tucker. Now, here's Melton. No good from outside. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting him rip. Here's Payne. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And here's Melton. a floater go count it good Melton's got six here in this quarter and what a turnaround from the first half I mean he's been incredible here in the second half Bridges outside out to the wing for three Booker tries again and there's a nice layup inside by Bridges and the Suns lead by one they are just killing them on the interior Embiid sets the pick for Harden. He kicks it to Embiid. Lets it go with a three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got five assists in the game. Timeout called. The Suns. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay.
Here's Payne. Aiton a screen on Hart. Passes it to Aiton. It's over Embiid. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That one on Embiid. Conservative from Aiton wanting to score often and then forcing the D right there at his size to foul him. free throw is good. And Aiton with that efficiency just becomes an outstanding option for what you do offensively. Off on that one so he goes one for two at the line. Philadelphia's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Melton against Booker. Pass to Embiid. Unloads from 13. And the 76ers tack on two more. And in the big moment, Embiid is your guy. He's always ready to go on the attack. And it's Aiton missing. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. And just, oh, man, he just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Suns trail by three. Inside, and Aiton throws it down. How about a pivotal hoop from DeAndre Aiton? Here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Kicks it to Tucker. And here's Harris from the arc. The shot. No good. And Phoenix the other way now. Bridges finds Brook. 124 left in the fourth quarter. And it's off the back rim. No good. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Now here's Booker. Eight in a screen on Melton. 17-foot shot on the way. Booker no good. The 76ers shooting it well here in the fourth quarter. 50%. Harris passes to Harden. Feeds it to Embiid. Let's it go from 11. Got it! Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Now here's Booker. Eight and a screen on Melton. For three, Booker. Again, the miss by Booker. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. All checked in for Payne. And that's an intentional foul. Chris Paul, first person to foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Philadelphia. James Harden at the line for two. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And Harden, so cool under pressure. Definitely not the guy you want to send to the line. So he goes two for two at the lock. It's a five-point game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. And the Suns call time here. They trail by five. There's 25 seconds left to play in the final quarter.
second, separating the shot clock and game clock. And Aiton throws it down. And how about that? Aiton stepping up, wanting the pressure. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. At the line for the 76ers, Anthony Melton. Two shots. the first and that gives them a four point cushion. And so both free throws are good and it's a five point game. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Eight in a screen on Hart. Booker outside. Jacks up a three. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Son. And now we've got the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Fifteen foul. Shooting for Philadelphia. Joel Embiid taking two shots. Shooting two. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Here's Hayton. Hands the three. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. So it's the 76ers taking the win in a close game. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, James. You have seen every type of defense from opponents over the years. What do you enjoy about that back and forth challenge? Just every single game, I'm trying to figure out what they're doing and how can I uh, be aggressive and attack it. You know, I love playing a game of basketball. I love you know, being crafty and, and just trying to compete at a high level every single night. You know, it takes a lot, but I'm built for it, and uh, I'm going to just continue to keep going. Well, you won the chess match tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid.